Afternoon, comrade subscribers. So this hopefully is quick. Uh, this is the original uh, Nabu fan that came in the Nabu, which has got that issue. <laughs> so uh, good German quality. Um, 1983. This one is. Uh, problem is it's 115 volts. So I've got this replacement just right today. Um, made in made in West. Germany, so it also shows you the uh, date set. So it's uh, West German, and uh, this one's made in China. And yes, definitely, this one is much, much heavier. Um, you can definitely feel the feel the quality. Um, it is, I think, it is possible to still buy this same brand and basically the same fan, the two forty volts, but it was twice the price. Of this one so um, I got this one uh, but otherwise I think it's all should be the same 8 slash 7 watts it says there this says 9.5 slash 8 watts uh, 50 60 Hertz so obviously this is 230 this is 115 uh, so um, yeah let's try sticking it in uh, so I've already earlier replaced the power supply as well with a 240 volt version and also tidied up the wiring as well, made the wiring a lot um, neater. So the question is, did I, what did I do about the fan though? So it's just a, uh, little modern so that's power in there isn't it so that's the original AC input cable goes okay one goes via the switch so I guess I guess, I guess, I guess that I should um, hook the new fan which way, so airflow coming out so I should just hook the new fan into there I guess and um, it'll switch on and then obviously I just also need to run a earth wire to the ground to that bonding point there I guess now where did I put the screws I know I put the screws somewhere so this what's this way this is pointing airflow coming out so we want the airflow coming out I assume we don't want to push air in we want to suck air out so that should all line up pretty much perfectly there yeah and then that hooks into there and then again, yeah, I just need to need to ground it. All right, let me find some screws. Okay, so I got the uh, I did keep the um, little earth uh, screw. Put the earth screw was on here, the original one. So I <laughs> kept it. I can see that there was these the there were these larger ones. So I've, obviously this one's quite stuck on here. Um. So no doubt I have put them somewhere safe, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I'll just use, um, I'll just put some new, new screws in with washers, etc. So no doubt I'm using the wrong type of wire strippers. Using the wrong type of wire. And uh, using the wrong, wrong type of crimping tool, probably. <laughs> I'm just going to put the earth, earth wire on first, then I can uh, maybe secure it in, and um, I think uh, non insulated. Hmm. I like to also solder these as well, add some flux and solder just to make the, make sure the join is there, but 
It's not going to be moving around, is it? Um, it's the easiest way to do. I'll do the one down here, I think. Somehow. Okay, do the other end. Should hopefully be okay. Yeah, so I would like add some flux and solder so that really bonds it together. Anyway, so I'm gonna have it in. I'm thinking of sitting it, sitting it in that way so that we've got the power cable over this side. So there's a earth bonding point down there. So let me just attach, screw that up. Uh, where'd the washer go? All right, let me get this stuff. Uh, right, so yeah, I've, um, I didn't like how it was wiggling around a bit, so I have actually soldered it in. So what I'd normally do is um, tin, tin the wire. It was already tinned anyway, but add some more solder to the wire, stick it in, uh, slather it up with flux, and then solder it so it's a nice, nice solid bond there. So I'll do the same. Uh, well, I don't know if I can really do the same with this end. Seems to be okay, but it's not going to. Once it's in, it's not going to move around. I just didn't like. Uh, yeah, that's definitely nice and solid now. Okay, back to. That's right, so what was I doing? Airflow in that way, wire that way. So I was going to put this one here, something like that. Okay, so the earth earth wire is in. It's connected up to the bonding point there. So I'll make make the hole a little bigger. Now these two wires here are a bit too long, I think. They may need to go to there. So I'll just chop them off there, I guess. And then I'll strip them without using the wrong type of stripping. Quite small, so what will I do? So I'll unscrew that one with a screwdriver. Which I don't have down here, of course. Okay, I'll go find my smallest, although I could use, oh, I don't even know where that is. I'll be back. Uh, the neighbors decided to use the whippersnipper. <laughs> anyway, so this is the original kind of power in to the power supply. So I've already tinned these before, so I think what I'll do is, should I just solder, solder them in together, maybe? I'm not going to be pulling this apart again. Maybe. Solder them in, or oh, I should just be able to do that, shouldn't I? I just... Put it in like that and screw it, screw it together. Right. Just want to cross them over. Don't want to cross the streams. That goes in there. Okay, let me try and fiddle, fiddle around with this. I just kind of bonded them together. Well, that might be easiest. And put them back in. And then give them a test. Yep, so I'll be back when it's ready for a test. Okay, the new fan is in. Hooked up to the power supply. I've just used some M3 uh, bolts and washers and stuff in three places to secure the fan to the case. I've got uh, earth wire connected up. So, and it should be blowing out that way. Right. Plug her in. Power on. 
Turn her on. There we go. Sucking air out. It's not too bad. Obviously, it's a bit, <laughs> a bit noisier than it was without a fan. So it should be sucking, uh, be sucking air in across here, through these holes here, out, out through there. Yeah. Not too bad a job, I think. Connect it into there. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Okay, put it back together and uh, test it again. Right. It's all back together, power's still on. So, so you've got vents on the side there. So we're sucking air in from here, across the motherboard, through the power supply and then out the back there. Very good. A bit noisier than before, like I said, but um, it was designed with a fan, so it's now got another fan, but designed for 240 volts native. Okay, well, I hope that was of some interest. Um, bye for now.